guys, Natalie Elphinstone here with you again today. I'm going to show you a little technique for your journaling bible which is to do with heat embossing. Um, I'm just going to get straight into it because what I'm um, going to be journaling about today is from Galatians 5 verses 22. This is that sort of famous verse about the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Um, and that's love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. So nine things. And I thought it would be really cool if I could stamp out the words to all of that as a um, really good reminder of what those um, characteristics are. So I've got my trusty alpha stamps here. And I'm because there's nine things, so the, the ninth one is self-control. I'm going to start with that down the very bottom just so I know that I'll be able to fit them all in and I've got my Versamark watermark ink pad here that's what I'm going to be using and I think I'm going to do them all in different colors so the last one I might start with this deep red so I'm just going to get that ready and whenever I'm stamping in my Bible um, I have really come to depend on um, the Illustrated Faith uh, stamp pad and if I put that behind there it just gives me something a little bit more sturdier to lean on. So Versamark, I've started um, putting the letters on my acrylic block and as I said I'm starting towards the bottom. That's SE for self control. Let's go in with the L and the F. Now you can't see much yet, but uh, and grab some scrap paper, pop underneath as well. Just put on the embossing powder, shake it off. And the self. Now I'm obviously going to go and do control but I just thought I would go ahead and emboss this first. Take out that. I don't want that to melt. I'm not sure if it will or not. Now putting the heat gun on it is going to make the page um, warp just a little bit but I think it will flatten out when I close the Bible and give it some time as well. Um, so that's the technique. I'm going to go ahead and do all of the rest of the words and because that's going to be uh, a little bit of a long process I'm not going to let you <laughs> or make you sit through all of that but I'm going to go ahead and do them all in the different colours. Okay I'll come back when it's done. So there you go I've done the whole nine words and Luckily, they all just seem to fit perfectly. <laughs> Couldn't have planned that better if I tried. Um, I've done them all in different colours and I like where it is, but I think I want to make the words stand out a little bit more. Um, so I'm going to grab my trusty watercolours that you've seen me use before in the videos um, and I'm going to paint in those uh, letters a little bit more too. And I'm going to choose similar colours to the colours of the embossing powder that I've done. And I'm going to go ahead and do all of those. See, it makes it stand out a little bit more. But what I also wanted to do is, of course, I want to get some fruit on this page. So I've got um, a stamp set here that's got some fruit in it. And I'm going to um, just use this tiny little bit of space here just to stamp a few of those. I'm going to use this time my stays on ink um, in the black because uh, then I can add some colors with my water paints and the stays on being waterproof won't sort of smudge so an orange or a lemon I guess who knows depends what colors I painted I guess and I want this strawberry And maybe 
maybe we've got enough room for some of the little ones like this berry again whatever berry I want it to be and these ones are maybe like a blueberry one down there as well and now I'll go ahead and color those oops sorry bumped the camera sorry for the wobble <laughs> so we know obviously for the strawberry we're going to want a red I've labeled all of these uh, so that I can see what color they are um, but then I've just got a piece of paper that I kind of tested on that's a good <sighs> strawberry color and for a bit of shading just to go in on the, over some areas with a different color red green and I can use that same green for this one as you can see my technique is not that precise but it's just about getting some color on the page all right I'm gonna go ahead and just finish painting and I think that's probably all I'm gonna do on this page uh, there's not much space left really for anything else certainly um, no space for sort of journaling or writing so uh, I'll just finish painting and I'll come back and show you what I've done well this is the end result I've added lots and lots of color I've basically got a rainbow on the page and I'm I'm really happy about that because I think that probably having um, the spectrum of colors helps to represent the spectrum of the gifts as well and so even though I haven't been able to add a lot of journaling to this page I think it just um, speaks for itself and basically just that the whole nine gifts here are really uh, you know they're bold they stand out when you're flipping through the Bible um, this is really just going to jump out at you and I think you know that's how um, it should be so I hope that maybe I've been able to teach you a thing or two about another technique to try in your journaling Bible I think my hints are uh, to use your heat gun um, gently you know at a low heat um, and to continue moving it so that it doesn't sort of burn the page because obviously these pages are quite thin and as I said yes you can see that it's it's warping the page a little bit but I think with time that's just going to flatten out nicely um, and I haven't used a lot of water in my water paints that's the thing I love the best about um, this system with a water brush and the um, the water papers and so that really helps to minimize the amount of warping and the other thing that I'm glad is that I think um, you can you might just need to trust me but you can still sort of read the text underneath and and I do find that um, important for myself in my Bible um, so I'm really happy with how this page turned out um, thanks for joining with me and I'll be back again soon to share some more hints and tricks with you Bye.